Hi everyone and welcome back to day 13 of Memovember. For those of, new, of you who are new to this channel, Memovember is a series that I created where for every day of the month I memorize something new. Uh, this video is going to be special, uh, it's not going to be a list necessarily, it's not going to be uh, geography related, it's going to be the digits of pi. Uh, in today's video I will memorize 100 digits of pi. That's in preparation for the end of the month, where for every subscriber that I have, I will remember one digit of pi. Right now, I'm a, a bit under uh, three, 400 subscribers, so I need to prepare myself for reciting, memorizing, and recalling 400 digits of pi. Of course, it's up to you to raise the stakes, so if you want to subscribe to this channel, do it right now, and that will force me to memorize one more digit of pi, as well as help me with my channel. It's always greatly appreciated to every single person who subscribes. Now, on to the meat of the video, memorizing the digits of pi. I will show you my techniques. First of all, let's do a quick assessment here. So I'm on sliceofpi.fun, um, a website um, coded by uh, one of the YouTubers I follow who did that themselves. Uh, they memorized um, more than 3,000 digits of pi. Um, it's uh, from the channel Answer in Progress, I believe, and so this is going to be my first test. I haven't memorized any of them. Uh, I just have, I just know a couple of digits by heart. So those are 3.141592. Six five three five eight and something like three, two. Okay, that's eleven places. So that's that's the baseline. That's what I know. It's eleven digits of pi. It might be more than the average person, but it's still far from a hundred. Well, to memorize them, I have this method. I don't know if you can see well. Let's hope so. Basically, on these um, papers, on these sheets of paper, I've listed a word for every two digit number. So based on how the numbers look, they are associated to a letter. Those two letters for those two numbers is associated to a word. So basically for every two digit number, I have a word associated. Let's see what that looks like. I will then uh, tell you how I'm using those words later on. But first of all, let's see. 3.1415. One four. What does that give us? So one four. That's fourteen. Fourteen. The one looks like an L. The four looks like an A. L A. Los Angeles. So basically, fourteen equals Los Angeles. It doesn't need to be more of an understanding than that. Fourteen equals Los Angeles. Then one five. That's fifteen. And that is uh, uh, one five. So one looks like an I, five looks like an S, I, S, island. So for me, the number 14 is now equal to an island. It's interesting, isn't it? So from all those digits of pi, uh, I will have to associate every two digits uh, with an, uh, a number, with, then with um, a word. Because you might be asking, Martin, it's great, it's, it's, it's honestly amazing to transform those digits to numbers to words, but what's the point? Is it easier to remember a list of words than a list of digits? Well, probably not. I don't think it is. But with those words, we can tell a story. We can build a story, and from that story, it's going to be much more easy to memorize anything. In this case, digits of pi. I'm not going to make a story with 141592653588 whatever is after that. It's hard to remember, but if I have Los Angeles and the protagonist, let's say me, I was in Los Angeles. Boom, I went through a boat on an island. Los Angeles LA14 island IS151415. That's how it's going to work. Um uh, now I will have to get down to it and do the nitty gritty and write down all the digits to try and remember them because I only have a few hours left in the day. It's like 4 p.m. So 
let's get down to it and I'll see you soon with an update on the story, on the words, and of course, on the digits. So here on this piece of paper, I've simply listed the first 100 digits of pi. Here, it's going to be the first 10, which I already know. So I'm just gonna check them off and start from the 11th digit, which is an eight, and then nine, seven, nine, three, two, and so on. Then I've spaced them so that all the digits from the 11th one onwards, it's in group of two. So then I can associate it to letters and uh, words. Let's see what that looks like. So there it is. That's the list uh, of words. So I've spaced out the numbers. I've got the letters associated, first list of words, then other numbers, other letters, other words. So here, for example, we have Blueprint, Tony Parker, Futurama, Facebook, etc., etc. BP, that's Blueprint, TP, Tony Parker, FU, Futurama, like one of the characters of Futurama, FB, Facebook, etc., etc. Same thing here. EQ, that's Equation. Uh, HP, that's Harry Potter. So all of this helps me recall those letters which go back then to the numbers and from those words I'm going to do a story. So that's what I'm going to do right now, create a story with all those words and see if it helps me memorize. Hi, so about 20 minutes have passed and um, so these are my notes and this is the little story that I made with all the words for let's say the, 30, the first 30, 40 um, decimals of pi. Um, so I'm going to put all my notes over here and try to do a first attempt at recalling it, about 20 minutes. So we got the, the first 10, which I don't have the story for, I just have the 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, 3, 5. Perfect. Now the story. So blueprint, that's BP, that's 89. Okay, I've learned the story until that point. It ends with bike, which is B-I, which is eight, one. So I don't know the next numbers, two, three, no. So I've done 68 right now, 68 digits in 20 minutes. That's pretty powerful. I don't know about you, but this is amazing. I'm pretty slow. I had to speed it up because I'm pretty slow to think. Hagrid, Hagrid, H-G. H resembles a 4, G resembles a 9, no, it resembles a 6, H, G, Hagrid, 46, takes me a bit of time, with more practice I'll get better at it, but it's still memorized, even though I'm slow, I still got the 68 digits for now, I'll continue doing that, I'll um, do a better story, I'll do that for the other digits, and then I'll do a realistic try for all 100 digits hopefully in real time, and if not, uh, sped up so that uh, you're not getting bored, but just to prove that I can do that with, uh, within an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Here it gives me on this website two errors. If I do two errors in a row, I'm done, so I have a bit of leeway. Let's see if I can recall the first hundred digits of pi. So it starts with one four, one five, nine two, six five, three five. Then there's a blueprint. 89, 79 for Tony Parker. We visit his mansion. Fortunately for everyone, this part of the video is also sped up. Uh, the whole story for anyone who's interested is going to be uploaded on my YouTube channel as its own thing. But for now, I sped this up. Um, just remember that the word association is very personal. So those are the words and the story that makes sense to me or that works for me to recall the digits. For you, it's going to be probably something else um, and here we are after five minutes towards the end of the recalling then there's just an italian guy let's say mario in the middle of the room italian that's it that's 17 in the middle of the room and then at the end the ogre reappears that's 06 but then tony parker because it's his house protects us and that's 79 and that is a hundred digits of pi in about five minutes i don't know what the next number is maybe an eight Yes, it is. That's lucky. A zero, no. A two, yes. A four, no. A four again, no. 102. 
that's bonus for you 102 decimals of pi so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it it was a lot of fun doing it uh, on my own by myself for about an hour in the day and it was a good day different from those geography lists from the different videos i did uh this month um if you like it subscribe like you know watch the other videos do as you wish um and there there's going to be a lot more new videos every day on memorizing something new today was the digits of pi tomorrow we'll probably be back to geography so have a fun time on youtube i'll see you later